So there's a Mexican female politician by the name of Natalia Juarez. Uh, she's 34 years old, and she uh, is basically planning on running for Congress. Mm -hmm. But Good she's not getting enough attention as she wants. Basically, uh, people are not taking her as seriously, and her campaign hasn't really launched the way that she saw it launching. Um, so as a result, she uh, decided to pose topless with six other female uh, members of her party. When? Okay, now this is a leftist party in Mexico, and here's the billboard that's getting a little bit of attention. Indeed. Oh, schwang, wang, wang. You can't even see it. They're covering it up. And why do they have the hottest one in the back? Did you really think I was going to show areolas on the program? God forbid. <laughs> okay, whoa, that would really... Uh, so, so is she the one in the center that's the leader of this pack? I believe so. Okay, good for uh, her. Now, now there's this whole question as to whether or not this is a good idea. That's what I really want to <laughs> Oh, there's focus. a question about this? Yeah, there is. There okay. is, because some, she thinks that it, it could work, right? Um, well, number one, if it works, awesome. Number two, give Mexico a ton of credit if this works. Because there's actually nothing wrong with it, right? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't find it immoral or whatever. She's like, look, I wasn't getting attention. I got attention I won. Who cares, right? Uh, all I care is once she gets the attention, what's her policies, right? Mm -hmm. But... But I would, I would be surprised if it won. Right, but exactly. I would be surprised if it won as well. If anything, okay, this gave her the attention she was looking for, but it's probably going to be negative attention, right? So if you capture the minds of men, like, are they going to be thinking about what your policies are? Are most guys like you who are like, okay, uh, all right, you're topless. Now tell me what your stance is on A, B, and C. No, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, she's topless. No, no, and I think most men will think. Seriously. No, I think most men will think, oh, you're topless. Tell me about all of your positions. <laughs> I'm so cheesy. All right, so here's the situation. Luckily, we have a Mexican-American here uh, among the staff. Uh, Jesus Godoy, um, you, uh, since you're the only Mexican here, will be the only one voting. Uh, so, uh, si or no? Well, I, I would have to say si. It's a bold move on her end, so. There it Good is. Luck. In TYT world, she wins the Mexican elections one to nothing. <laughs> or, as you folks would say, uno to nada. By the way, she spoke to CNN about her decision to post topless for this ad, and she said this, conservative people are never going to vote for me, never, even if I dressed as a nun and carried a rosary and said that my party was going to give away Bibles and rosaries, they wouldn't. Conservatives are never going to vote for me. So she's basically saying, No, like, no, it's over. It's over. Now, I'm uh, rigging the system so that I can vote in the Mexican elections. Now I'm definitely on her side. You know why? Because I love that she gets what apparently President Obama doesn't get. Like President Obama was like, well, if I'm really, really tough on the drugs and, and if I break records and how many people I deport and, you know, and I'm really friendly to the bankers, then maybe Republicans will vote for me. No, they won't. They're never going to vote for you, even if you carry the rosaries and wear an nun outfit. They're not going to vote for you. At least Natalie Juarez has figured that out, right? So she's like, oh, yeah, I'm going the other way. Mm -hmm. By all means, God bless. I vote C.